Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Actuary, and I had the pleasure to interview a new startup called Pineapple. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this interview was because the founders studied actuarial science. They're planning on using blockchain technology. They're going to disrupt the insurance industry, and they're based in the greatest country in the world, which is South Africa. So perfect, perfect content for my channel. The only problem is that the audio quality is shocking, so I had to add subtitles, which took forever. And also we spoke for around 25 minutes, which is quite long for YouTube. But I have uploaded the entire interview, and you can, I'll put a link in the description below, and you can actually go and listen to it. But in this video, I just want to give a very brief summary or overview. And I think the best place to start is with their name. Why did they call themselves Pineapple. Is it just something arbitrary like we've seen with many other fruity companies? Well, turns out that that's not the case. There actually is meaning in this name. And to get the meaning, we need to understand what a pineapple is. And contrary to, to most popular belief, it's not a single fruit, but instead it is a collection of individual berries that have come together to get mutually beneficial protection by bunching up together. And that, that's kind of what insurance is, except with the pineapple, there's no central authority you know, doing all the admin and taking profit. And that's what Pineapple the Startup's about. It's a peer-to-peer -peer platform that is going to be decentralized and completely transparent. And this is going to be offering a whole range of benefits. Although not everybody agrees that pineapple is going to be as beneficial as they say they are. And that's when we introduce another startup in South Africa's uh, insurance technology sector. And they called Indy. And listen to something that they wrote on their blog. And bear in mind that I think they're taking aim at pineapple here. Yeah. They say, we've noticed a trend locally and internationally around the concept of peer-to-peer -peer insurance. And they're saying that they've put forward a fictional story, which is interesting because this is very much the story that we'll hear in the interview. And they have these three points, that if insurers don't play your claim, they profit, so interests aren't aligned. Very little of your premium actually gets spent paying claims. The rest is therefore wasted. And there's a lot of insurance fraud out there, and so insuring with your mates will reduce this. And they then come up with the statement saying that this sounds plausible and that it's a great way to get people's attention. But then they make the statement that this is not true. And the rest of this blog article goes in and shoots down each of these points. But what is quite interesting is on their website, they're making their own insurance product and they believe that it is the best. So if you want me to set up an interview with these guys, make sure you hit the like button and I'll do my best to arrange it. But otherwise, go check out the pineapple interview if the stuff does interest you. And as always, Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.